Today we're going to take a look at the Marshmallow Man from the Real Ghostbusters. This figure came out in 1986 and was part of the first wave of ghost figures along with the Green Ghost, which was Slimer. And we also got Bug Eye Ghost, H2O Ghost and Bad to the Bone. It's quite a nice figure this one. He's very, very basic though. He's basically a rubber <laughs> squeezy tie. His arms do move, but again, it's all rubber, and they're very tight on this one. And his head moves a little bit left and right, so you've got a little bit of pausability, but not much. The legs are just glued on, it's all one piece. Underneath he's got a hole in his foot, which lets the air out when you squeeze him. And you can see he's uh, very squeezy. And as such, you've got to look out for uh, splits on this guy. And also paint where he does suffer quite badly. There's a bit there and there's a bit on his bib and on the top of his hat. And also you'll notice he's he's going a bit yellow. He was nice and white when this guy came out, but this one's uh, not fared too well over the years. But he's a good figure. So he was in the movie and he was 112 feet tall, I think he's supposed to be. And this guy... Well, I'll show you next to Egon. He's not that tall, really. What, eight foot, something like that. So, yeah, the scale's a little bit out. But he does make a nice figure. And I mean, if they had made one in scale, it would have been stupidly big and wouldn't really have been able to play with it too much. And it would have cost a fortune, so... So, yeah, he was in the uh, in the cartoon, in the real Ghostbusters. He features in the introduction. Um, I believe he was resurrected at one point and actually came to help the Ghostbusters in a couple of episodes the, uh, to bring him out to fight other ghosts that are uh, worse than him. So he's a good guy, really. So there you go. That's the Marshmallow Man from the real Ghostbusters. This has been Luke. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.